Hello everyone and welcome back to our Warhammer campaign. We are at the uh, start of a new turn here and we have a message. Um, at the beginning of this month, Asha Asyryank, uh, the mouth of Svavnir, cast a great enchantment upon the sky. An enchantment that holds the seed of, um, of the uh, omniscience reserved for he that is to rule all. That which is hidden has been revealed to Asha... <laughs> Asha, uh, that which is forgotten will be found. You are being watched. Your servants are being watched. Your slaves are being watched. The unblinking eyes of the Lord of Avernum is ever watching your moves, peering over your shoulders, glaring at you from the sun, watching you from the shadows. By taking the first step towards omnisci omniscience, um, Asha has set himself upon a path that if not blocked will lead him to ascension. Obviously, there is only one fitting punishment for this grotesque arrogance. You must blind these ever-present eyes. Wait, what? So he has... First step towards omniscience. Has him... Does this just mean that they've taken a lot of the... Um, Thrones of Ascension and, like, it's warning me? I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, Alright, well, a report from Tiffia. Suddenly, a small number of flame bolts appeared out of nowhere and struck the army located here. Eleven units were hit and seven units were killed. What the what the what? The heck is going on? <laughs> I don't. I'm not sure. I haven't had these things happen to me before in a in a Dominion's game. Uh, well, we have lizards versus gnome in Agrathon. What the heck is going on? I'm assuming it's just enemy spells of some sort. Uh, so the lizards have some Arani cavalry, some Saurus warriors in the center with ogres, wolves, and a scorpion, versus um, chaos warriors, horror marks. Did I say that this is versus Nuln? I'm, I guess I'm in chaos. Whoops. Uh, anyway, chaos warriors, some war dogs or chaos dogs, war hounds. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Jaguar Warriors, some heroes in the back, those horror marks. It looks like um, Chaos should probably win this one. So let's see, the Marauding Cavalry that belongs to the Lizards are being hit by the Marauders and some Chaos Warriors. And looks like the infantry is moving up there to intercept. The Warhounds are being destroyed by the Ogres and the Source Warriors. With the Pink Horrors doing what they can from range. Uh, wolves and the scorpion have retreated from the uh, griffin there. The infantry is now moving in to fight against the lizard infantry. The marauding cavalry has... Okay, that's it. The armies of Itza uh, have been routed. Chaos wins. So, let's see. Itza lost 44 and Chaos only lost 5. Eww. At least they're still battling each other. Next is us versus the dwarves in Black Oak Forest. Alright, so, we have, of course, our general surrounded by some archers and some great swords versus some light infantry and a couple dwarves. So, I'm really hoping we get to win this one. Come on. One of these arrows have to flip and puncture. Well, our great swords are in their infantry line and they are running already. You cowards. Alright, forces of dwarves are routed. Our archers were able to do it, thank god. Flipping great swords. Cowards. One dies and they all go running. Uh, next is us versus dwarves and Gorillion. Alright, so this is our army with the Reichsguard, all of our awesome knights, some state swordsmen, and our heroes and leaders in the back. A couple ogres left versus the massive army of tribal warriors. Our warriors are uh, loads, loads better than theirs. Their quality is so much better. So I am not afraid. Our knights are probably going, yep, yep. Just tear through them like butter. Does that make sense? Tear through them like paper. That's probably a better saying. Tear through them like paper, not butter. Okay, so the infantry, or light infantry, has already routed. The tribal warriors are holding on strong, even though they are being barrotted by magic. The knights are just cleaving through them, one after another. More magic coming down. Ooh, that was a... Oh, no, 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 actually, that hit them, too. Um, a Reichsguard are wheeling around the south there, flanking the 
Uh, tribal warriors who remain. Their numbers are growing very thin. I imagine they will be routing very shortly. There they go. I'm kind of surprised they held on as long as they did. It must be because of their uh, leaders, though. Uh, I'd assume. Oh, well. The leaders are about to die as well. And some of them managed to make it out. But I think this territory was surrounded, so they all should have died. I don't think they had anywhere to retreat to. Um, Avernum versus us in Chibia. Oh boy. Alright, so we have, uh, what, the Great Eagles? Yes, Great Eagles. Tons of hit points. Attack skill is pretty high. They have two attacks each with 11 defense skill. They are, they're pretty they're pretty good. They are pretty damn good. A lot of Avernum guards, some Nephil creatures there at the top with some ogres, some archers upon more archers. They love their archers, man. Avernum loves archers. More ogres at the bottom and some undead forces in the center versus all of our heavy infantry that is just down the entire line. Huge uh, portion of crossbows, state swordsmen mixed in, more archers, and a couple leaders. Alright, so the first salvo went nowhere. Oh my goodness, it didn't even reach the army. Let's hope... What the heck are they firing? Oh, they're firing at the damn ghosts at the front. Well, they at least killed one, but they also did damage to our heavy infantry. The Great Eagles decide to assault the north part of our lines. Hopefully the heavy infantry can take them out. The rest of our heavy infantry has met with their infantry in the center. A portion of them are continuing their advancement forward. The Great Eagles have shifted to the center. Heavy infantry trying to work on those troll guards at the bottom. They brought one down. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. The enemy is uh, has some more undead on the way. That was a nice salvo from our crossbows. The Great Eagles up top, I think, has uh, killed most of our heavy infantry up there already. Wow, and actually the enemy infantry has killed a lot of our heavy infantry in the center as well. Oh my goodness. Uh, this portion is still moving up, advancing towards the archers. We have a few heavy infantry at the top advancing toward the archers. I'll turn on the uh, colors so you can see. There we go. We're um, clearing out their infantry in the middle. The Eagles have fled. Come on, heavy infantry, get into them. Some of our archers are running away. Oh no, just as they got to the archers, our heavy infantry is turning around. Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> Again, the flipping Avernum archers are turning our armies. Alright, well our crossbows have high protection for crossbow units, so maybe they can... Pull this out. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, thank god. Whew. Man, that was close. That was way too close. Oh boy. Well, there goes most of our heavy infantry that we managed to gather. Okay, Avernum lost 138 troops. We lost 76, 52 of which were the heavy infantry, which was our main line. We still have about half of them left. Whew. We held on. Okay, dwarves versus us in Aganor. Huh, okay. Oh, these, yeah, these guys. The Lobo guards. Their stats are terrible. They are being led by a lost one. A level 1 astral mage who is blunt resistant, stealthy, and is an assassin. And has a mind blast with a range of 100. Psychic damage. Paralyze. Armor negating. Range 100. Precision 100, so it's never going to miss. 10 shots with it. Okay. And we are routed. I guess we didn't have any leaders or a garrison there. Damn it. Uh, worldwide event has occurred. The stars are right for conjurations. Uh, conjuration rituals are cheaper this month. Uh, we just... Oh, our scout was discovered and killed. We started to destroy the gate of the fort in Toledo, but still need more time. 21 afflictions cured, and some uh, patrolling troops have managed to kill some brigands. And the dwarves managed to take another province from us. Hmm. Alright. Well. Let's have Grimold go down here and take that back. 
And we better actually hire a garrison just in case. Well, yeah, yeah, it's always good to hire, hire a garrison. That's fine. Um, here, let's get a garrison up and, and running. I guess all of our money that we have left over is going to be spent in garrisons. Just so that they can't take them over for free. Okay, we're still sieging there. And this army... Man, uh, probably need to take that, um, that Chaos Castle there. So we're going to advance into this province here. And then probably go south to take that castle. And we do not have much money left over. Oh, man. Let's cancel one of them and get a Amethyst Wizard down here. We're going to be sieging that for probably quite some time. Hey, Froli's back! Thank God. All right. Um, he should not be... Oh, he's still horror marked? You can't get rid of that or something? What the what? Oh, no. Oh, that kind of sucks. That kind of that kind of really sucks. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's move right of that up. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I just kind of have to deal with it. Okay, Froli. I think I'll march you down to the south. So Derek will stay back to collect any more troops you get there. And now I can move all of these Arc Collectors around. Um, let's actually move them since Froli's going south and he emits Dominion by himself. I'll move these guys out to the west and try and hold back the Dominion over here. And you know, hmm. I could use these scholars for their siege bonus down here against this castle. But I want them for research, though. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'll move some. They'll move with Froli down here. Just in case. And I can always put them up uh, to research again when they get down here. Like there. Or I'll eventually have a laboratory in most castles. Um, here. Army set up. Let's put these guys in here with you. Do that. Do that. And this is the month of conjurations are cheaper. So. <laughs> by two. Because the Bright Wizard Lord I think is 20 gems. So maybe it's just... Uh, Oh, never mind. Um, don't want to summon another Bright Wizard Lord. Uh, yeah. What the heck? Why not? Uh, you can cast Augury. Alaric. Spirits of the Wood. Oh, yeah, the Hamadryads. Forest Trolls. Hmm. Hmm. Some of some Leo Griffs. Sure. Well, some of some Leo Griffs. Uh, flying units could be good. Um, to hold and then attack like archers, so we could be useful against a Vernum. All right, well anybody really. And then up here we just have you. Do that. Taking that over next turn. Anything else? How many banes do we have? Okay. Hmm. Do you actually have an... No, you don't even have an undead leadership. Am I... 
Do I have... I do, don't I? I do have some type of undead leader, but I think he's down here. I think this guy can lead undead. He can. But I don't know if I actually have any other undead leaders over here to collect those banes. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Maybe the Ark Collector does? No. That's kind of odd that the undead wizard doesn't um, have any undead leadership. Maybe the um, Amethyst Lord does. Which one is an Amethyst Lord? Amber Wizard. Not there. Enchantment. Jade Wizard, Grey Wizard. Is he Blood Magic? Like what? What the heck? Oh! <laughs> the one I didn't check. Uh, alteration, really? The Amethyst Lord is an alteration. Ay ay ay. Huh, okay. I'm not gonna be getting that any anytime soon. Oh, you know what I did forget to do? I've been forgetting is renaming a light wizard <laughs> to uh it was Sauron, right? Was the request? My apologies, I think that was a request from a little while ago. But I, I honestly had just forgotten. So there we go. Sauron is uh, is on the field. Okay, what else do we want to do over here? So, if I can't get an Amethyst Lord, and it's not even a guarantee that they do have um, an Undead Leadership, then I'm going to have to collect those Banes with this guy, with uh, Heketeon. Hmm. That's very odd. Anyway, gotta keep, gotta keep going here. Okay, so intersight. These guys. What do I want you guys to do? Actually, I think I just want them to be on patrol. I need their magic here. But I do also need research. Crap. And I don't think the vine men are really working. The ochres aren't too bad, but yeah, I mean the vine men. But the thing is, like, they only cost one nature gem. Like, what else is this guy gonna do? Shoot, let me see what he can forge. Frostband, Rate Whip of Command, Divine Bow. Mirror Armor. Magic Resistance plus three. In this bag of wine is always good. Clam of Pearls. Temporary Astral Pearls too. Oh, interesting. But nothing that I really want. Alright. Well, it doesn't look like they have a huge army around me right now anyway, so we'll just put these guys on research for now. And, oh god, I, I'm not recruiting anybody here? Oh boy. <laughs> Okay, well, you know what? Let's stop some of these heavy infantry recruiting because honestly, they're not doing too much for us. I mean, it's nice to have a, a big surge of heavy infantry every once in a while, but they're not doing much for us. So let's cancel all that and um, recruit some more state swordsmen here. Okay, and then this army. Is going to start moving out. Starting with this province there. You 
should be preaching. Oh, wait. Our dominion is already pretty high. Actually, you need to move up here and preach. Okay. Alright. It's a long turn, but I think we're finally done. Let's end. Oh boy. Okay. Augury, we found nothing. Discovered a hostile mage scrying on your land. He settled the Asher Cord. And again, rendered an enemy insane for life. Alright, nice. Battle between Chaos and us in Midgewater Marshes. What? What? The heck? Really? This spell, huh? I don't think those Blackhawks are going to do well against our small garrison. Yep. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, dwarves versus us in Black Oak Forest. Alright, so that small group came up to attack us. But we have our archers here. Wait, 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 wait. What? If I'm assaulting their lands and they're assaulting me, aren't our armies supposed to meet? Hmm. Okay. Well... Let's hope our light infantry can take them. Okay, they're already routed. Oh, I guess that was the militia. This is the light infantry. Or is that heavy infantry? No, that's light. Okay. Well, I mean, because there's a there's a heavy infantry version that has spears, but uh, I think they have more chainmail on their on their well, on their chests. All right, so we managed to win that one. Chaos versus us in Smoke Peaks. Oh shoot. I guess the pass opened up. Oh boy. These flippin' pink horrors, man. Ah, oh, I hate them. And their cavalry is hitting our ranged units. Oh my god. Those fire drakes just lit us up. Also with the pink horrors lighting us up. Man, they're going to take our province. Darn it. I was not expecting that. Such a small force too, but those... The pink horrors, man. They're rough. They are rough. Darn it. They lost 11 troops. Man. Ah. Alright, us versus Avernum in Latian. There's our wondrous army there. Oh god, that's a lot of uh, fire snakes there. There's a lot more people up here than I thought there was going to be. Oh crap. This may not turn out too well for us. But we'll see. Alright, our infantry has met up with uh, their lines there. Fire snakes trying to burn us alive. Those weird chakra warriors are at the bottom flanking us a little bit. Great swords hopefully can kill them all. Alright, I don't think we're doing too bad. Though we are losing some. Um, our infantry pushing up a little bit against those trolls. They're going to have to deal with the ice elementals behind them here in the next round. Greatsword still working on the infantry at the bottom. Ogres still holding up their own against these snakes in the middle. Alright, we're wrapping around a little bit on the bottom. The trolls are routed. But now the ice elementals are trampling through our soldiers at the top. Greatswords are working on the Infernum guards in the center. I'm still not sure how this is going to go. If the great swords hold, then we probably win. Our state swordsmen are retreated. Nice. Alright, so we managed to win. Whew. They had a lot more troops up there than I thought they would.
Okay, man. It's tough fighting against every faction in this game <laughs> with your ally kind of out of the out of the game. Um, we ended up losing 56 Ugh, out of 168. Killed 96 troops though. That's that's cool, right? I guess. All right, us versus chaos in Philothros. I'm gonna have to march an army north to take back uh, our province. So this is just a small garrison led by a marauding ca uh, captain, and they are routed. Next is us versus dwarves in Aganor. So I guess our armies do just kind of pass each other, so we should be able to take this province from them. It's just a bunch of horse tribe archers, which have, you know, low protection. And one more salvo, there we go. Wow, they're still fighting. Wow. I thought they would have ran. There they go. Okay. So now that province is ours. Um, lizards versus Nuln in the Griffin Wood. Lizards are bringing a small group of marauding horsemen and Soros warriors versus a garrison, which I, uh, I don't think is going to be enough. The cavalry is a lot better than light infantry and militia, man. Cavalry went around and killed the archers. The infantry has been routed by theirs. And yep, that's the end of Nuln there. Then a battle in Chibia between Avernum and Uth. They're attacking again? Oh my god, man. We just have non stop armies. We, we don't. Oh no, we don't have enough tried. I wasn't expecting another attack so soon. Oh my god. This sucks. Crossbows, you better run before you start dying. I'm gonna have to pull back our another army again. Man, Avernum just has non-stop numbers. Run, crossbows! General, get out of there! Oh my goodness. Run! Oh man. There they go. Ugh. Damn, Avernum. Oh, we managed to route most of their infantry, though. That's something, I guess. But we lost the uh, province. Unexpected event. Unrest plus 60? Okay. Population minus 930 in Gorillion. Hey, we got two Earth Gems in Toledo. Still need to destroy the uh, gym or the fort there. We're under siege to Smoke Peak, but they cannot harm our walls. And they are uh, we're under, under siege in Chivia. Oh, um, whoops. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well. Crap. I guess we're going to have to withdraw again. Because we're going to need to save our fort there. We cannot lose it. Oh boy. That is most unfortunate. But it looks like uh, we have managed to defeat the dwarves though. So if we can manage to turn Chaos, who have become kind of strong again, then we'll be looking okay. Oh my goodness. Nuln only has three castles left, and they are all under siege. Oh my god. We really need to help them. So many enemies. So little troops to have uh, on our side. <laughs> god, I wish Nuln was still in this. Oh, this sucks. We'll turn it around, though. We, this, is, this is not over. But this, uh, this video, though, is over. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see you all next time. Take care.